back to Galley since for the people. How we doing guys? Welcome back to Galley Sense for the people. Hopefully you're having a great time uh, during these rough times, but you can make it, you know, as great as you can, you know, with the word of God, of course, which I'm going to be giving you shortly. And today I have another verses for you. Uh, hopefully you caught my last verses, which was with uh, the Versace houses, Franche, and then you have the Versace Eros. So go ahead and check that video out. I'll put a link, but if you're not, then check it out. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe below and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the end of this video. I'm always here to give you knowledge. I'm Golly, and uh, let's get into it. So today, my verses, <laughs> see how that works? Verses, double entendre. So I got verses to give to you with the Bible, but I also have verses with a battle between Burberry London and then we have Burberry London. <laughs> I got that mixed up. I meant to put Burberry Touch and Burberry London. There we go. All right. So as you see, I have the box for Burberry Touch, but I don't have it for London. I threw that out. Uh, I got Burberry London around uh, when I was in Arizona. So I probably tossed the box, which we don't need anyway. Both are Eau de Toilettes. Let's get into our godly verse. We always start this channel with God, of course, our message. So the word of God I'm going to talk about today is the integrity and the accuracy of the word of God. So what I want to go into is that uh, elaborate on the physical aspect of having God in your life. It's not only that we eat every day. For nourishment but we also can eat steak and burgers and all this food right that we take in as human beings but we also have to take in the Word of God for nourishment and that gets to the integrity of us um, regarding the word too because when we eat these foods, when we eat this word, when we're in our word every day, when we're, you know, meditating on this word day and night for not for physical aspects uh, or physical reasons, we need this food for spiritual growth. So when let me put it in the terms, Matthew 4, 4. out of the mouth of the word of God. So Matthew 4, 4 says that. And what does that mean? Basically, it says our soul needs nourishment. Why? Because the word of God is alive. The word of God gives us power. And uh, if you're anointing, if you're uh, born again, you you know, believe in Romans 10, 9, that God died for our sins and he died on Calvary for us. We have to go by his guidelines in the book and the word of God. So why not do that? Why not read the word, manifest the word, eat the word, and you live an abundant lifestyle from the word. So that is also another point I want to make up is believing uh, man. A lot of people believe man uh, words and doctrines over God. And that is not the way to go. That gives us the accuracy of the word. Not being closed minded when you're reading the word of God and hearing the truth. So a lot of people, you know, you know, for example, you know, they want to read the word. They do read the word, but they're not getting the right accuracy of the word. They're not understanding the word. They're not taking the word serious, but yet they will. Some others, some individuals will get the word, but also relate the word to their own, you know, twist or put a twist on that, which is, you know, it's unique to put the word in your own, you know, words, but the word itself 
is textbook, you know, so you want to go by the guidelines of what the word says over what man says, because man can be wishy-washy and twist things up and add their own, you know, uh, perspective to things. So that is the accuracy of the word. And I got another scripture for you. We're going to get into 2 Peter 1 and 3. the divine power over all things so I'm reading my notes that pertain unto life God has given us the divine power of all things that pertain unto life so he's given us uh, the riches and glory to get life more abundantly all we have to do is believe and read those guidelines and read the word take it in you know eat it meditate on it live it and we are you know establish that easily uh, in the you know kingdom of God so also I want to add one more scripture before we get into our verses guys hopefully you're having a blessed day hopefully this word uplifts you as well and gives you some knowledge and Jeremiah 15 16 it says thy words were found and I did eat them so that those two scriptures right there tie in together why because jeremiah says once again 15 16 says thy words were found so i found these i found the word i found the bible i found these scriptures i found you know truth in life and i ate them so that goes back to what matthew 4 4 says you know i can't live by food alone i can't live by burgers and cheese cheeseburgers and cakes alone I have to give my spiritual man and my spiritual being food and nourishment. But no, we have the word of God. We're prospering and we're prosperous each and every day. And uh, God's word is the right way. So, hey, hopefully you enjoyed that message. And uh, that's the word of God for you. And I personally love these scriptures. Um, they're adding the more I, the more I do this I add these scriptures to my repertoire you know like you know uh, Philippians 4 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me uh, Ephesians 4 1 you know uh, Deuteronomy 31 6 let's get into this verses all right guys we have Burberry touch as you see this the old day toilet version this is this particular fragrance is beautiful I love the violet leaf in this particular fragrance and it's an all around fragrance. We'll get into the notes in, uh, in a little bit. And then we have the Burberry London and I'll put the two together going head to head. Burberry houses. Here we go. So that brings me to the notes. Both last for six hours. You know, I'm going to compare and contrast the two. Uh, beautiful scents on both, you know, the Burberry London, uh, has the tobacco leaf, you know, it has the, uh, berry scent, the tangerine scent, uh, you know, that just makes it fruity and gives it a blast of, um, you know, lavender smells in this also. And then the black pepper in the top notes and the middle notes you have, uh, you have some leather. And in the bottom notes, you also have some, the woods, basically tobacco and wood, com uh, making and uh, combining and making a great scent. It's beautiful, it's it's alluring. I don't wear this fragrance a lot, uh, personally. I just save it for a particular uh, event. Um, it's more of like a fruity, fruity flavor fragrance that you want to wear you know when you're out and about but you know we haven't been out lately so I might have to bring this one back out guys so that is Burberry London you can wear it uh, winter and fall seasons and it has a, a very very uh, elegant sweet smell to it it's very sweet sweet woody and spicy uh, you'll find out that both of these particular fragrances start out with spicy woody and sweet um that's why i wanted to do a comparison of verses with these two because they both have like the same uh, identical notes it trips me out but anyways guys 
also Burberry London is about what thirty dollars on eBay also 40 bucks on fragrance X so you guys know I love fragrance X you guys know I love eBay uh, that's where I get most of my fragrances so take advantage it's a cheapie I definitely love the scent I'm actually gonna wear it today guys gonna wear some Burberry today Oh man, the aroma, the sweetness it just hits you. Uh, you can the lavender and the bergamot together uh, make a, a tandem of a dominant tag team, and uh, they're just beautiful. And then it drives down with that leather, and then it gets into the wood. So Burberry London is is it's epic. I know a lot of people probably don't wear it, you know, designer wise, but. Hey, you know what? I wouldn't sleep on this six hours of sillage. Now let's get into <clears throat> Burberry Touch, guys. This has been made by Jean Pierre, and uh, it's been around since the early 2000s. You can't go wrong with it. Top notes, tangerine, violet leaf. Oh, it's so beautiful and elegant. I love these two fragrances, by the way. I, like I said, I just don't wear them a lot because I have been in, you know, inside and uh, I haven't been anywhere special to wear them on a special occasion because you guys know it's quarantine crap going on. So, uh, the middle notes, you got nutmeg and then you have white pepper also in this particular fragrance. It's beautiful, elegant, alluring, spicy, sweet, and woody back to those particular notes because it, it really is you know the white pepper is is mixing in here you got the tonka bean and the uh, bottom notes and the vetiver when it smooths down and dries down it gets into those tonka beans that vanilla that white musk also uh, you can wear this all around seasons different from the London you can't wear this you know all seasonal it's not all season uh, type purpose fragrance so yeah, I will pull this out, you know, around springtime, around now and uh, summer. Uh, give it a couple sprays, you know, and enjoy it. Actually, right now, I'm gonna. I usually don't leather, layer, I should say. I don't layer, but I definitely would layer today with these two particular fragrances because they're identical, uh, note wise. But the touch, Burberry Touch gives you like an oomph of the violet leaf. So take advantage of the violet leaf on this different from the London and it's all around seasonal fragrance the pricing of these two are identical as well you can't believe that right I know I can't either but yes you can find Burberry touch and London for 30 bucks at eBay and fragrance X 40 bucks I mean you can buy depending different uh, differentiates with the sizes but the old day toilettes they're cheapy so guys I want you to take advantage of these two uh, beautiful scent and then with this one different from the London it has a powder ending note yes it is powdery this is spicy and sweet powder spice going head to head guys that is my review of Burberry London and Burberry touch Hopefully you're staying blessed. Hopefully you're staying safe during this these times of uh, quarantine and you know and find ways to enjoy yourself, work out, be with family, enjoy some good food, cook at home, and uh, what do I always end this with? Bless up, God first. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe below. So I would love to hear the feedback. Let me know if you guys have any Burberry London. Let me know if you love any touch also. So Burberry London, Burberry Touch. You guys, take it easy. Thank you.